Ooh, look at these dumplings. Look at them. If you know anything about rotten tongue, there be a cook mm. run down, you know. This is home. Look at that mm. Look at it. Colors popping. Sauce is there. Glossiness is there. And every look at the color. Look at the color. Cooking pan. So basically what I have here is some oxtail. And they are, um, I'm browning them up. You know my brown up to my ready. Okay? So this is like about 4 up to 4 a.m. Yeah, and I'm up. I did season these overnight. And I'm trying to get them all brown up. Not sure. Maybe I'm going to put them in the pressure cooker. Maybe in the slow cook them. I'm not sure. But I brown them up. No one them have them. Not try brown color. I haven't cooked up here in like about three years because as I did tell you we don't do a lot of upstairs and something around here so after this we don't know if them anybody will too like it and it looks like it's not really tough you know look chewy so I have my kettle here right here I have some cow art and light so you see it so when I go start, I have to put on the pressure now. I have to put on the pressure for this. So this here is some mutton. I'm just making food for five people. So this was start, this is start frequently from today is New Year's Day. I start frequently. If you have seen that where I did all the charts and seasoning up. So I did start this slow cooking. I haven't had any water, it make it own juice so far. So, it starts cook from overnight. When the meat is really chewy, wanted to start doing this from overnight, they have still though, but this will happen. I'm going to come up to the third and get this side. So, no, uh, this will be easier now, later on. Not the best for curry, as you can see. Might find some curry paste and vamp to cook. So, basically, this is what is happening now in this clip. And I will catch you in the next clip. Okay, so still, so what I'm doing here, all the oxtail is off. And look at the oxtail is really warm and sweet at my oxtail. I think this is three pounds. I don't remember, I'm not sure. But if I three pounds, it's still good amount. Hmm? So, what I do, I didn't take them out. So, what I'm going to do, when I just, the new ones that I put in, I leave them to the bottom there. So, if you notice, all of these. So those that are under there, so I'm going to turn on the stove now. And uh, wow, there goes my pressure. God, my pressure cooker is so powerful. From 1989 and it's still, you see that? The powerful pressure. <laughs> so, I'm going to turn on the stove and do it now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start cover down these first. No, I shouldn't cover it. As soon as those under the bottom grown up, I'm going to make it cooler, remove all the excess grease. It's not fatty, you know. So I use a little oil to brown. So you see how, how pretty them is? Natural brown, this, you know. Natural brown, oxtail. I'm going to put your say, only big up yourself. Say, in, give me um, the white one. This is also touch with oxtail. That means I know which one are the best one. What is it? So this is what is happening. And you hear my pressure start. I'm going to check back with you. So, this is the not there for now. The pressure is still around here. And this is a real kitchen. I'm not showing you how to do it. I'm just taking you along on the journey of... I didn't make any dinner for my Christmas. So what I'm doing here now, I'm removing my upstairs. And I'm decided to soak up it down. Like all the mutton that is so halfway. Half so if I had gone ahead and start to soak up it down from last night, it would be easier for me right now just like the mutton because when you start cooking, slow cook them something and then throw in meat here. Yeah, so this is how my hand. Right, I'm going to have some beans over here. But I'm going to cook them with beans. I like them with all the beans. They look so spritz up in from overnight. So, I'm going to put a little bit of the grease on it. And you know, of course, I want all of them. You know? So, I am saying if I had gone ahead and started slow cooking, or uh, when you have chewy meat like this and you have slow cook them, it's best if you can start cooking it overnight and cover it down in its own steam and juices. When you come the next day, you know, 
it's easier to cook so may I try to get out all of them something here I'm gonna remove a little of the oil and I'm gonna show you what I am going to do next so I have removed the oil I have the water down in there and this is my little nightly from my upstairs so mind you I'm just in you know see my face because I'm still in my I'm a nightly that's it so my little fun down in here and I'm gonna use a little of this oil just to keep it moist while it's cooking down because you can't see it's not a half steel with the woolly top fat and something so basically that's it right there alright so I'm going to cover this I'm going to start slow cook down this so, I don't know if I did mention that I'm making breakfast to me turn down my, my cream so this is liver I told you what in the pressure cooker was hard and light cold hard and light and this is liver I am moving along steadily. I remember all I do. Every single thing that I'm doing here, I've done some in a tutorial on the cooking channel already. So, everything's supposed to go okay. My body is supposed to. I think that we can show us that recipe. We do everything already. I don't mind the way I've had left over that. So, there is. Sunday when I'm recording this and it's New Year's so officially but actually in Jamaica they will be celebrating it on the Monday. So what does I do? Or left left? When I left, no left, that's just it. So I get back my flame up, I'm doing some liver and I just hope that I live like any oil stuff me and me. Meat man, kind of have one prettier one, but it must be somebody else. So, yeah. So, leave a bit of some start my bean over here. Yeah. Mutton bed is as I show you. The slow cook, and the slow cook down with some potato. And over here, I'm start me. My ox tails, there it all starts slow cooking. Sometimes, so come. So, that's where I'm at now. My liver, I go go and cook down this one. I don't know how to tell you, so I'm not sure how to cook liver. Um, see, not that. So, this is my liver. And I'm going to put no, 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 soy sauce. No, I'm not going to put it. I put a little soy sauce. I just want it to get grown up in a, its own little juices. So, look here. I want to take it. I'm going to cut it in a month. I mean, it ain't not slice it up in my leaves. Slice up my liver. I must have to slice up my liver. Alright, so I test me, I test it. Yeah, you see? It's reasonable. Yeah. For that piece of little thickish, so. I go on, make it go on down, because you know, so you live off a cook for eye. So, I'm going to finish up this by getting some. I'm going to put a little soy sauce. And when it's done, don't let me say it, but. And then, um, I think this. See, so that's not ready yet. I'm going to show you what it is. Uh, and the light look like I wanted to mix it with the liver, but Cobb said no, because she look like she not like the light. But I guarantee you when she tastes it, I hear it's cook not in her family, art and light. But I was brought up with a butcher in a butchering home, so them something that I want to grow up on, you know, when it come out anytime at all. So liver, they there, simmer, and you see that, you know, that's on the throw down. Yeah, I can't even tell you how I remember. Stop I'll take you along until everything is finished and then we are gonna dish out together. Just put in the onions, may I turn the flame off. Basically the river that right now, liver did it so and beans start cooking. May I release can't wait for it to take too long. So. But I'm going to add the and I'm going to gravy it down. You see that? You see this? Look at this. Art and light. This is my favorite. I've never showed you how to do the light. I'm going to beat light. Uh, them they're all this, old time. So, you see it? Nice. 
and it's cooking because it did a way a minute I like not go past the the um the maximum so you see it you see it you see it you see it nice and pretty but we still have to put a little ketchup and look at something the yeah, I can like this so I'm gonna throw it out in that pot because I'm going to need this pressure pot because I have another pressure cooker here but it in my deep freeze with something so yeah that yeah mm-hmm next step and light. it's basically you cut it fine like the kidney you know so this is the liver and this is the art and the light my mother would cook these first at a certain to a certain point and when it's like almost soft she would add the liver but mothers do it different my family different I know dad but I don't know about Jerry so my gravy done so basically this is like kidney you cut them them they are chewy yeah, them really hard and I didn't show you the light I've never done a tutorial on how to clean and cook the light because it's like and those who are asking it's like the cows light heart liver kidney yes yeah we eat them something that Jamaica we burn that apple culture that, it's a part of our, our cuisine culture because we are African people you know so that the day I go on with the thing and it must simmer down taste it already everything good I'm just Really, I'ma have two local flocks of bread fruit there, but I think I just want me a roast. No, I have no time. Not frying any dumplings and I stress out myself and need no flour. So basically, that's where I'm hot. This done, I'ma put on the bread fruit. I meant to say, I make dinner and leave in a one. Girl, have some plate over this, so, so I'll finish it up. I make it just go and simmer down. I'ma put some fish and meat. So I'ma put a little ketchup because I seasoned it and start to brown it up in the pressure and cook it because, yes, they are very chewy. So, make it go and simmer. Yeah. So, I have moved on to another phase. I'm telling us, I have one breakfast. Actually, I have two, but me know, me know, and them, them, but I pray said this would. This is the biggest one of them. I guess this is the last for this year from St. Louis. I think I'm going to do that. They want one of the long breakfast. They want me a man tight, man. Like it all for fall out of the school. Mm -hmm. So, this is how I'm going to do it. So, Lily. When you start cook, them so they look like them big and them not really big. So I'm at another phase now. This is some corned beef. I have spree soaked it all night. It's about minutes to six now or something like that or six or thereabouts. So we wash off the pickling, leave it to soak all night. Throw off the water, rinse it off. Now I'm scalding it off. What I'm gonna do with it, you'll see as we proceed. So I'm still the right here, so the night like a thing I build up it's to cook one juices as make it never fifteen minutes in night one look a juice uh, you know and so i'm gonna have the seasoning i'm gonna use season it over there so i add to it at some point so that's where i'm right all right so you see up here you think they're going with the thing you see i first may turn it over and i'm up about 40 minutes now you know you see that so look here so the season is here i'm gonna want to put it around here so I deal with feet thing, you know, so let me, let me go and mix it up. Yeah, slow cook. I have no more liquid for putting in that for right about now, not for right now. So, I make it see the next hour, me switch part in there, see? See there? Being over this, I cook, but I did things so that tough, but them tough on um, me. But I'm a pre soak it overnight, so I don't know, but you know, I like my. Sometimes I don't really can do the can be. You know? yeah, so. But I still do a thing. Okay, let's so. And it depends on a very. I turn it back down. I'm kind of turn it up. Slow cooking thing. I'm going to have this space. I'm going to use my slow cooker and something to find out. I have this space here right now. So look here now. So, did I show them that I scald off this? Mm -hmm. So, I scald off this. Uh, this is two pounds of corned beef and girl have it in a little water. I'm scald it up. I'm going to run it through the pressure. I'm going to want it to come soft, soft. Still not tell you me I'm going to do it with it. But somewhere along the line. Maybe, in the, maybe not in the next clip, but some clip, few clips down the line. Brush here, go on. I'm just turn it so. Look here now. Me. I did some of the. I slap this little through the pressure. I'm going to want it to. I, and the brush fire, no? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have one. 
Okay, beer. Okay, so I'm basically now. So I'm going to add steel and mutton. So I'm going to, this is some celery, freshly chopped celery. So I'm going to get some straight up flavor right now, for you know. I have my puppy then, my daddy do it from us about 4 o'clock. Yeah, so I'm going to be flavoring up it a little bit more now. And you know, I'm going to do that whole powder seasoning. I'm going to say I'm going to do that. So, some extra garlic. Ginger in this already. Yeah. Extra garlic for both of them and some celery. That is gonna give it a really popping taste. You know? Mm -hmm. But for the sauce, so I guess you can roast that can peel and we can have two slices who want and whatever. We have a cup of tea already. And basically this is what is happening. Mm-hmm. So have the beans there, but them still are going away. So, you know, so I go get them a little slap through the pressure because I'm going to make them done, I guess, in my beer. So, I've just put about less than a quarter cup in the water in the ox tail for the very first time since I put it down. So, this is what I still have it on the low, but you know, and this is all natural brown ox tail. I don't put no color in pan this. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I'm over here so the mutton. Remember this was being cooked from last night, but you know this may have the hot water on no me not left it. So me I put a little to the side there so about quarter cup. Yeah. And I am about going now to dice the potatoes to put in. These are the these I can make and steer. When you're ready you just reheat them on the low. Yeah. Show me that cook the curry from last night. And uh, I start back this man, yes, he said. See, curry them, I don't know them stay already, you know. This can take a little bit too, not a lot. Yeah, see it? Yup. I eat that, you know. You know, cover them down back. Yeah. I don't even smell this, I act still here, but I go out with the flow. That's so, what I say. Carry them on my mouth and look lower. Yeah. So okay now family, this is like 7.30 a.m. and breakfast is ready. So look here. I'm gonna get out something for dad. So right over here. Let me just make sure I send my alpha liver. Let me, let me eat up the liver. Let me make a plate for him because I know he eats some liver. And I also know that when my onions they're not crunchy you know, but I saw the thing go. I'm going to eat some of this art and some of this light here. Yeah. I'm going to take a serving of it. Yeah. Alright, so see we look at breadfruit here. I didn't roast um, both of them. I just roast one. And I don't know. Dad will eat the breadfruit like this. I personally am not the person. If you eat my breadfruit forever, I honestly I'm not have done for the with it. So I guess this is it for that. That is good with this. So we don't have no color, but my busy. My work. So breakfast is served. New Year's breakfast. And this I'm gonna do this my dinner video here in two parts. So this is basically the end of part one. Thanks for watching and I hope that you will stay tuned for part two. You have never seen me done anything like this on the Jamaican cooking journey channel.